Hi, this is Mr. Eaton, and today we are going to have a look at terms that are used in algebra. So the first term we're going to look at is pronumerals, or variables, um, and these are letters that represent numbers. So for example, the letter A, or the letter X, or the letter B, or the letter C, or the letter Q, etc., etc. These are all pronumerals, right, or variables. An expression is a combination of numbers and pronumerals that are connected by the four operations. That's addition, subtraction, multiplication, and or division. So an example of an expression is 5x squared plus 4y subtract 1. Over here we can see that that is an expression, that is an expression, and that is an expression. And the reason they are an expression are because they are separated by one of the four operations. So, for example, there's an addition, there's a subtraction, therefore that is an expression by itself, that is an expression by itself, and that is an expression by itself, because they are also combinations of numbers and pronumerals. A term is a combination of numbers and variables, connected only by a multiplication or a division sign, but are also separated by an addition and or a subtraction. So, for example, we can have 5x add 7y. Therefore, that is a term because it is 5 multiplied by x and it is separated by an addition or a subtraction. And there is our second term, which is 7y, which is the same as 7 times y. Coefficients are the numbers being multiplied by a pronumeral. So, for example, the 3 in this 3x. So, 3x can be written as 3 times x, with 3 being the coefficient, because it's the number, and x is the pronumeral, because it is a letter. Now, constant terms are numbers only, and in this expression over here, the negative 2 is the constant term. So it is really important that in the expression for x minus 2, that we make sure that we include the minus 2 as the constant term. Expressions can be evaluated by substituting a number for a pronumeral. So in this expression a plus 6, if we substitute a equals 3, we can therefore say a being 3 add 6. Therefore 3 add 6 is 9. And we've sold the expression. And finally, order of operations must be followed at all times. So BIMDAS is our brackets, our indices is, so for example, the squared in x squared here, multiplication, division, addition, and also subtraction. So there you go, these are some of the terms that we use in algebra.